So now this is the part of the video where I say something really goofy or stupid or try to be funny and then the intro starts. I got it. Today, I got it. It's a little tripod I ordered, and this is going to be my unboxing. Nothing major, just a little tripod to hold my camera up. Uh, the one I'm using my microphone right now on is this one. It's uh, the Manfrotto uh, Pixie or something like that, but it's what I got my microphone. That's how you can hear me. Cable cable going to the camera so I'll keep it for that but it's too small and only holds 2.2 pounds and my lens weighs more than that so here is our little box I, I forget the name brand I ordered I'm a cheapskate so I ordered um, what I could afford look at this huge box right and there's more bubble whatever in here than there is actual goodies all right, so let's take a look. This is called, uh, I don't know. Obviously it's called the Made in China. I forget who makes this thing, but we're about to find out. And we're gonna test it out. Only problem is I only have one camera, so I'm probably gonna have to film some of this with my phone and add it to the video, blah, 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 blah. But, you ready for the reveal? <laughs> so let's uh, take a look. Wow, that's a pretty awesome little tripod there let me hold them up together if I hold this one up and hold this one up and this thing is beefy I mean it's like it's pretty solid you could beam somebody really good with this thing let me put my microphone down and drop something on the ground uh, it's an allen wrench so let's see how this works okay so the legs in the picture showed it doing different items here so what i'm thinking is you spin this to lock the legs maybe so they can't move did they give me directions no directions all right so let's do a quick rundown of this real quick and i will try to look up and see exactly what it is one of the reasons why I ordered it, it has a quick release plate that I can screw into the bottom of my camera and then slide this baby in here, lock it in place. And then it's supposed to have this super heavy duty ball on it. I'm starting to see what that's for. Okay. And then it has this lock and then I can twist it really tight here supposedly and the ball will move in. No, it's not gonna move. This, this is pretty good. So let me um let me look up real quick who makes this thing. And you know I'm gonna shoot some B-roll to some stupid music. You, you know it. You, I got it. Oh, see, that's what that does. There's a little wheel here that has arrows on it. Let me see if I can get it to come into focus. Those arrows right there, depending on which way you twist them lock these legs so that you can go at a high stance or close it spin it the other way it looks like there's multiple ways to get this thing to, to go all the way down either that or i'm just a moron and can't figure out how to work it it would appear that i am the moron Oh, there we go. It's one click, and then it does one of those full lay down. But if you take the pixie here, which only goes down so far, or whatever it's called, and you put the legs, you can see the difference. This is a lot stronger tripod though. Now this feels like a jack stand in my hand compared to this thing, and it's not heavy at all. But, I need to find out who makes it. 
And it is made by... One second, and I will find out. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot better. I can hold the camera out. I can change hands. I can spin it around if I want. Yeah, I like it a lot better on the tripod rather than trying to hold it, hold the camera. You know, and I also need to learn to look in the lens more, but, I, but I'm trying to see the angle as I'm, as I'm spinning the camera on my living room. I really like this. This tripod's pretty badass. This tripod is pretty badass. Yep, I can deal with that. Awesome. Ulanzi Tabletop Travel Tripod. Wow, I actually said all that without screwing it all up. Metal tripod, so it's made out of all aluminum and the maximum load is 13 pounds. That's pretty awesome. My camera doesn't weigh 13 pounds and I don't plan on having a camera that weighs 13 pounds. Although, Canon, if you're listening, if I ever get the EOS R, I don't know how much that weighs with the heavy lens. <laughs> but in any case, Ulanzi, I'm not sponsored <laughs> at all. I bought it off of Amazon for $34.95. I am a cheapskate because there were a lot more expensive ones, but I am very, very happy with this tripod. It's pretty awesome. We'll see, I'll take it out and get some use out of it. Once again, that quick release plate is pretty awesome. And the fact that I can take the ball head off and put a different ball head on, uh, Adobe if I want to. And um, I really like it. It's cool, it, it, it sits up kind of high, or I can adjust it to put it down low. And I know you can deal with it with, I know you can do all that with a Joby tripod, those bendable, I just hate those. I just, I don't like them. Someday I would like to try out the Switch Pod, but for now, I think it's a hundred bucks and you have to buy a ball head for it because all it comes with is the quarter screw so you can just put your camera on it and then your camera's stationary. You know, you can't sit at a table and aim it up on the tripod. It's just, I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't worth it to me to spend a hundred dollars and then fifty dollars on another tripod head or ball head that was actually strong enough to hold it. So I'm actually very happy with what I got and my unboxing was only like the second unboxing I've ever done. If, I've even done one before, I can't remember. Thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know next time I upload a video. Please throw a like here and there, would you guys? Thanks for watching.